Well, I think the probably the biggest highlight is to be in a championship atmosphere like that. And um, it's not only a championship atmosphere, but we're in the pool that we'll be competing at our uh, MIAC conference championships in February. And it's arguably one of the top you know, half dozen pools in the country. And we, we were able to see new competition against really high quality competition. Not only members of the University of Minnesota, but uh, University of Utah, which had a tremendous team, uh, San Jose State, uh, South Dakota State, and then Carleton and us. And so it's good for our athletes to be able to be in a championship environment like that and then to see what really high quality swimming is too because then they're gonna they're gonna up their game we had a couple of relays that did really well we have a couple of national caliber relays in the medley relays and for our women uh kelly punko sophia nevin helen jensen mo wolf um, posted one of the top two or three times in our conference but also a top 16 time nationally and so that was really great and then the men we had uh john lofi and Gus Reynolds and Marcel Hones and A. Byman Casey that also posted a really great um, uh, 400 medley relay that's, that I think was sitting 16th as well around the country and top 16 make the national championships. So that was good and then um, John also was a finalist in, in three events and again going against Division One competition that said a lot. Uh, for him, and he had a couple lifetime best swims in his 100 fly um, on a relay, and he also had a good 100 back and 200 back. And then on our women's side, probably the standout again, Helen Jensen was a finalist in, in, in multiple events, and is just a really dynamic all-around swimmer, as well as Linnea Rizzo also had a really, really good meet, I thought. Um, but it's hard, to, it's hard to pull out just one or two names because, honestly, um, as a team, we really stepped up to the challenge and that was really fun to see.